Is there a surefire way to find out how your cat really feels towards you? Turns out, yes, there are actually 11 subtle body language clues that all cats exhibit when they feel uncomfortable in somebody's presence. Now, if you see a single sign, that does not guarantee that your cat dislikes you. But if you notice multiple signs, that's your cue to make some changes to your relationship. Before we dive in, be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline-loving community. So the first tell is one of the most accurate standalone indicators. Lowered horizontal tail. When your cat walks into the room, take a moment to observe their tail. Is it lowered or even dragging along the ground? This posture is a significant indicator that your cat might not be feeling too fond of the situation or, sadly, your company. But it doesn't stop there. If you notice their tail tucked under their body, it's a clear signal they're not just uncomfortable, they're scared. On the flip side, a tail held high is like a flag of joy for cats. It means they're more than just okay with your presence, they're thrilled. Here's one interesting thing. Have you ever seen a cat with a shivering tail? This little quirk could easily be mistaken for fear or discomfort. But guess what? It's actually a sign of pure, unadulterated joy. Yes, when a cat's tail vibrates or shivers, they're not just happy, they're over the moon. And here's another thing to watch when you want to read your cat. Grooming in your absence. Cats are known for their meticulous grooming habits. This isn't just about cleanliness. It's a huge indicator that they feel at ease in your presence. So if your cat starts to groom themselves only when you're not around or abruptly stops grooming the moment you walk into the room, that is not a very good sign. Grooming is a vulnerable time for cats, a moment they prefer to engage in without feeling watched or threatened. If they pause or stop every time you enter, it means they're on guard around you. Speaking of grooming, Here's another telltale sign. Frequent scratching or grooming after interaction. Cats possess scent glands in their cheeks and paws, and when they groom or scratch themselves after being with you, they might actually be trying to overlay your scent with their own. Interestingly, one study found that cats might groom themselves more frequently in multi-pet households, potentially to rid themselves of other animals' scents, Another study observed that cats tend to engage in more self-grooming after stressful encounters. Grooming is a self-soothing behavior for cats, a way to calm themselves down after moments of anxiety or discomfort. So, if your cat immediately starts to groom themselves after you hugged or petted them, that means this encounter was uneasy or even stressful for your kitty. Lying on their back with claws out, Seeing your cat sprawled on their back, belly exposed to the world, might easily be interpreted as a sign of total tranquility and an invitation for affection. It's a common misconception that this posture is always a peaceful one. In reality, this pose can also be an alert stance. While it might seem like they're basking in relaxation, cats in this position are prepared for anything, with all four sets of claws ready and a quick path to their teeth if needed. So, how can you tell if your cat is relaxed or alert? Observe their overall body language. A cat at ease will have a relaxed posture, soft eyes and a gentle demeanor, truly enjoying the moment of vulnerability. On the flip side, if the cat's body is tense, their eyes are watching carefully and their claws seem primed for action. They're not just lounging, they're on high alert with you around. Hiding. It's completely natural for a cat to seek refuge in a hidden nook or cranny when introduced to a new environment. This behavior allows them to slowly acclimate to their surroundings on their own terms. However, if you notice that your cat continues to hide even in a familiar environment where they have previously seemed comfortable, it's worth paying closer attention. This could be because they feel anxious in your presence, but also due to various health issues as cats try to hide any pain and weakness. Studies focusing on shelter environments have found a solution for that. They provided shelter cats with high perches and designated hiding spots specifically for each kitty, and that significantly reduced their stress levels. 
So make sure your cat has access to elevated perches and cozy hiding places to make your kitty feel more at home. Biting First off, let's start with the fact that not all biting is bad. There are these so-called love bites. Cats learn something called inhibition from their mothers. This is a crucial lesson where kittens are taught to control the strength of their bite. It's a way to ensure playtime stays fun and doesn't turn into a trip to the vet. When your cat gives you a soft bite, they're engaging with you just like they would with their feline family, using this learned behavior to interact gently. However, it's a different story when a bite is hard and comes without warning. This type of biting, lacking any form of inhibition, signals something isn't right. Most likely it means that your kitty fears you or is angry at you for some reason. Repeated attempts to escape or flee. If your cat constantly tries to escape or flee from your presence, it suggests that they feel unsafe or stressed in your company. Cats live in a world governed by instincts of both predator and prey. When they feel cornered or threatened, their gut reaction is to flee. This instinctual drive can be so strong that even the safety of their familiar home environment might not quell their urge to escape if they perceive a threat. Now let's move to the head. Flattened ears. In the wild, cats flatten their ears to blend into their surroundings better, making them less visible to predators or even prey they're stalking. When your cat's ears are pinned back against their head while in your presence, it's a red flag. Trying to pet your cat in an attempt to soothe them when their ears are flattened can actually backfire. From their perspective, your hand coming towards them doesn't translate to comfort, but rather a looming threat. Now, onto a subtler signal that might be easy to miss. Licking lips or nose. Just like humans might bite their nails or fidget when nervous, Cats use lip and nose licking as a way to self-soothe in moments of discomfort. If you notice this happening more often than seems typical, especially when you are close by, it's a clear signal they're feeling uneasy. Avoiding eye contact. Cats communicate volumes with their eyes, and if your furry friend consistently shies away from looking you in the eye, it's a sign they might not be feeling too positive about your presence. This behavior is grounded in their survival instincts, where maintaining a low profile and avoiding confrontation is key to safety. Unlike humans who use eye contact to build connection and trust, cats interpret this behavior differently. If they're consistently avoiding your gaze, it suggests discomfort or anxiety in your presence. Staring this behavior is deeply rooted in their instincts, where direct eye contact is often considered a threat. But just like with avoiding eye contact, context is key. Observe the rest of their body language. Is their body tense or are their ears pinned back? Also, are they staring unblinkingly or are they doing those adorable slow blinks, also known as cat kisses? So, we've all been there. One moment, your cat is purring and peacefully licking you, and the next, out of nowhere, they decide to bite. What is that all about? Turns out, there are actually five different reasons why your cat does this. Check out this video, where we discuss all of them, and be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline-loving community.